Hey, what's up, guys? Okay, so in this video, uh, this is my third video about the second atomic polynomial, and uh, I will make uh, more of it. So, uh, basically, this video just to prove that the the irreducibility of the second atomic polynomial. You haven't seen my uh, previous two video, and uh, you have something need to check that you can check out. Okay, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. And uh, okay, so the idea. The idea is that uh, remember that we define a uh, fine of x to be like x minus exponential two pi i divided by n k, uh, where k is that's uh from one to n, and uh, basically the uh, k is coprime to, uh, k is coprime to n, and this kind of k is called the primitive roots. Okay, so this is called primitive roots. Okay, and uh, the theorem. Which is famous is that uh, uh, phi of nx is irreducible over z. Or basically, simply speaking, obvious that irreducible over q. I mean, because of this integer coefficient uh, over z over q. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so this video just to uh, quickly give the proof. And there are many kind of proof that you can find a paper called the uh, several proofs of the irreducibility of second time polynomial. But the, in this video, let me just go to the, the, the simple one, which is short. I think this one is simple. Uh, probably not the best, but I mean, so that omega to be exponential to pi i divided by n. And uh, okay, so there is a lemma. So this is short proof. First lemma is very simple. You consider all the i uh, different from j and omega i omega j will be uh, plus or minus n to the n. Okay, and uh, where i j go from? Uh, okay, so it should be this. There's no condition for uh, there's no condition for i and j. It's, except they, uh, except they are different. Okay, so they are different. Okay, so consider all the i and j from zero to uh zero to minus one, and uh, they are all different, and uh, it will be plus or n, n to n. Okay, so uh, very simple. Let's uh let's fix i to be uh zero, right? So for i equals zero, that I get one minus omega one minus omega two, one minus omega three, da 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 da, da. The one minus omega minus one. Then the this is just uh what? So <laughs> by definition, right? So there is a we have remember we have uh in uh equality that like, like x minus one x minus omega, x minus omega cube, x minus omega to the minus one. So this uh this guy just be uh if you divide this you get one plus x x cube plus x and minus one. So this equals to this. So it means that when I plus plug one it then I get n. Okay so I can consider i equals to one that I get uh I get uh one minus zero Two, sorry, one minus two, and the uh, one minus three, and the uh, one minus uh, minus one. Okay, and obviously that you can uh get omega out, right? So you get one minus omega zero, one minus omega one, one minus omega cube, the one minus omega uh, minus two. Uh, sorry, well, okay, so you get minus one. Okay, and then this guy is just exactly one minus one minus one. So you get omega to the n. Okay, so that means that uh, for i equals to one, that contribution is n. For i equals to, I give a zero, contribution is n. When i equals to one, contribution is an omega. When i equals to two, contribution you can check is an omega square. So, so i go to n minus one, the contribution will be n to the n minus one omega n square. Okay, uh, uh, omega, sorry, n and uh, n and omega n minus one. Okay, so the total, the total sum, the total sum will just be the product of all this. So you get n to the n and omega one plus two up to n minus one. So it's n to the n, omega n, n, uh, n, n, n minus one divided by two. And uh, this will be uh, plus or minus one, right? Because omega to the n is one. So you get minus one, uh, minus one divided by two. So the answer must be plus or minus one, n to the n. So this is plus or minus one.
Oh, okay. So now uh, we are going to give the proof. Uh, recall would before we do the proof. Let me just uh, quickly recall a fact. So I will not prove this fact, but this fact is simple. So uh, when we say a number, so when I say what well, x, uh, is a subset. Uh, is a belongs to C. It's called algebraic integer. If there is a f belongs to the integer coefficient and f is not zero, and the the degree and the oh and the such that uh, such that f of x is zero and uh, the leading coefficient of f is one. This is called this is called a monic polynomial. Uh, monic, monic polynomial. So basically, f can be written as x to the n or something. So the if your uh, number is the roots of one, if uh, roots of the some integer coefficient, basically this is called algebra number, right? If sorry, this is called algebra uh, number. If if you all, all only have this, this is called algebraic number. Okay, so if uh, you have another condition called the monic, basically leading coefficient is one, this is called algebraic integer, okay? And then there is a, a, this kind of theory is called algebra number theory. Basically there are uh, uh, investigated algebra number. So these are very deep, but uh, just, yeah. But there is a very simple fact that you, you, you can check. So zero and very simple fact. If I define this algebraic number, uh, all algebraic integer to be O, okay? Then O intersection Q will be Z. Okay, so simply speaking is that uh, any rationals which is algebraic integer must be integer. Any rational also be the algebraic integer must be integer. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah. And also uh, algebraic integer forms a ring. Okay, so these two fact that uh, simple that probably not so simple, but you can try to prove it. Hopefully, it's not difficult for you. Okay, so now let's uh, finish the proof. So our goal is the theorem is that proof that phi n is irreducible over c. Okay, and uh, okay, so the idea is the. Okay, idea is that we will want to prove a fact. We want to prove that uh, we we want to prove uh, if omega is a root. So if omega is a root of phi n, then omega p is also a root. Oh, sorry, no, no, not this. Let's prove this. Uh, so we want to prove it's irreducible, right? So this suppose is not right. Suppose it's not okay. I, so I should say suppose right. Suppose we have some factor, some factor of f, and such that if omega is a root, right? Because phi n contains some omega, right? So let's say f contains some particular omega. So if of if omega is a root of particular f of x, and the, the degree of f is right. So the you f need to be inside uh, z of x, then omega to the p is also roots of f of x for p do not divide n. If this fact is true, then basically you prove that phi n is irreducible. So if this statement is true, then phi n is irreducible. Okay, the reason is very simple, right? The reason is that uh, if you, because it's non-trivial factor of phi of n, so you must contain some roots, right? But if you contain some roots, then by the this prime factor will well it's every prime factor, non-trivial prime factor will give you all the it will give you other roots. But then f will be phi of n. F will be phi of n by using this different prime factor, right? Because this is a definition of primitive roots. Okay. So uh this is the the idea. So we, we want to prove this fact. We want to prove that if omega is a root of f of x, then omega p is also a root of f of x uh, for any p to not divide n. Okay, so uh, let's see how to do this. Okay, so let's let's start. Okay, so in order to do this, let's see, uh, let's consider as suppose, suppose not. 
that means that f omega p is now zero. Then, then we know that uh, we know that what we know that uh, f is integer coefficient, right? So, uh, and uh, we know that uh, uh, okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah. So f omega p is now zero, right? So that means that the uh, let's see. Uh okay, okay, so that f omega p is non zero, right? So so f of x, right, will contain like some some roots of unity. Okay, right, some n roots of unity. Right? So f f will f of x will be like x minus maybe some maybe a more omega, right? And x with some other omega. And the x with some other animal omega, something like this. Okay, so that means that if you plug omega p, then it will it will like because f is integer coefficient, right? So f omega p will be some integer. And then we already know that all the different product of this omega will be uh plus or minus n to the n, right? So it will be plus or minus n to the n. Okay, so let's so this proves that f divides this, right? So f divides this. Okay. This is integer, this is integer. Okay. So who's tell me that teach tell you that plus or minus n to the n divided by f of omega p is algebraic integer. Okay. Uh the reason is the following. So basically each each small one, right? Each each omega i omega minus omega j is algebraic integer. And then now this will be the algebra integer, right? Because some of the factors already cancel. So this guy must be some product of something, right? Some particular i j. Some particular weird i j is a some particular i j product of some particular i j. And then each guy is algebra integer. Now you can prove this is algebra integer. Okay. And all these product will be algebra integer because I say algebra integer forms a ring. Okay, so this guy is algebra integer. Okay, but but we know that uh but we know that the uh, omega f omega to the p is the same as f omega to the p mod p, right? Because f is integer coefficient, right? If you do the power of a p, then all the binomial coefficient will be except for the zero and the higher the highest term will be divisible by p. So this guy will all I mean all the middle term will be divisible by p. So f p to the omega ma p will be this, but this guy is zero. Okay, so ma p. Okay, so this tell me that p p divides f omega p. So this guy is an integer, right? This guy is an integer. So trivially, the integer is an algebra integer. Okay, but but then uh, plus or minus n divided by f to the omega p is algebra integer, and uh, this guy is also algebra integer, then uh, it becomes algebra integer. Okay, so plus or minus n to the n divided p is algebra integer, right? But this is impossible since uh, p do not divide n. So this guy must be rational, cannot be the algebra integer. <laughs> so this violate our results, violate the, 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 this fact, okay, violate. So that means that the f of omega p must be zero. Since f omega p must be zero, then you can keep using this and prove that the file is reducible. Oh, so proof is very uh very interesting using this fact of algebra integer and uh, see you guys uh, next videos.